Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Boy, we're having some storms here in South Dakota late last night around 3 a.m. It was just rocking and a rolling, downpouring of rain, thunder. I don't know if we got hail. I didn't get up, but it was loud and tremendous. Definitely need the rain, um, and the weather is going to continue through the day. They're in Valmy, Nevada. They've been having an earthquake swarm. The largest being a magnitude 4.1, which was yesterday. There was also a magnitude 4.0 right there. That was on March 31st. Yeah, and I was looking into why is there so many earthquakes in this location. Um, it's a spreading center. Here we got the Midas Creek, um, Jack Creek Mountains, and what they call the Midas Trough. The Midas Trough fault zone located in northern Nevada and is evidently splitting into at least four lesser faults west of Midas. The fault zone is relevant to recent earthquakes near Valmy, Nevada, approximately 200 miles southwest of Reno. Some of the more recent seismic activity of the larger earthquakes, March 31st, a magnitude 4.0, struck 57 kilometers, or 35.4 miles, northeast of Valmy, at um, 1628 Universal Time. This was identified as a potential main shock of an earthquake sequence. Like I said, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. So they think that 4.0 was the uh, main shock. And then yesterday there was a magnitude 4.1 about the same distance from Valmy. Um, residents were advised to stay alert for aftershocks. And then today there was a magnitude 3.6 same distance from Valmy at 7.08 Universal Time followed by a magnitude 3.7 event at 3.25 central daylight time. Both cause light shaking near the epicenter. Now the 4.0 that occurred on March 31st occurred at 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Um, all these events suggest ongoing tectonic activity potentially linking to the Midas Trough fault zone where the earthquakes are relatively minor and like I said there's no significant damage has been reported. In the broader tectonic content, the Midas Trough Fault Zone is part of a larger system of faults that accommodate the extension of the North American Plate. This extension is driven by a complex interaction between the Pacific and the North American Plates, with Nevada experiencing some of the biggest rates of tectonic deformation in the continent. We had two X flares um, yesterday. And as you know, X flares can cause earthquakes. Um, we had an X1.21, and then there was an X2.7, and several M class flares, um, an M5.2, an M7.5, an M4. Point, uh, what was that? Um, 4.24. We're probably going to experience more earthquakes. As you can see, we got a coronal hole and we have the uh, solar stream coming from here and the protons um, yeah, coming out and impacting the Earth. It is almost completely coming around to be Earth directed. Over here, what they consider the east side of the sun um, is the area of um, the 1X class flare and then the other one which is disappearing on the western side of the sun um, also created an X flare. Here's an image of the last two hours of the protons that are coming off the sun and impacting the earth and you can see we got a spike in that. That's why I'm saying we're going to probably have some more earthquakes. Besides earthquakes it does affect people's health. Here are the earthquakes in that location for the last week. We have 11. Uh, 3.1, 3.5, 3.8, 3 
all fairly shallow. You can see 3.5 miles in depth, 3.9 miles in depth. But when they're telling people to stay alert, be aware, I would definitely be aware. Like I said, any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much bigger. And they're saying that 4.0 was the foreshock, but yet then afterwards they had the 4.1. So I hope people are doing things to be prepared, removing items that are above your bed that could fall on you if you get hurt, or when you're watching TV or eating dinner. Make sure your bookcases are firmly secured to studs in your walls so they don't fall over. Have a tool handy just in case you have broken water or gas lines. Like I said, I think we're going to have some more earthquakes around the world. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.